So you've made a commitment to reducing waste at home. One of the best places to do that is when you're at the store. We're here with Stacy from the Sacramento Natural Foods Co-op, and she's going to talk to us about how a good store will make your choices around waste packaging even easier. Stacy, tell us about the program here and how you guys make it easy on the customer. Well, the co-op firmly believes in reducing waste, obviously, so we do offer opportunities for customers to reduce their waste by providing a large bulk buying department where customers can bring either their own containers or we do also sell containers that they can purchase to buy their bulk items in. And I also noticed that there was no PVC on your shelves as we were shopping around. Looks like you might make some choices in purchasing as well. PVC is known to sort of be a toxic chemical and so buying products and then offering them to our customers that are you know in a type of packaging that would be considered toxic would sort of be going against our principles so all right so if you're making a choice maybe one of the easiest choices to make is where to shop if you don't have an option like the natural foods co-op in your area you can also pressure or <clears throat> invite your local store to maybe adopt some of these policies yes, indeed. but even in this environment there are still some choices that you can make so we're going to go shopping now but this time with mark murray with californians against waste uh, this is an interesting choice here, aseptic packaging. Aseptic is a paperboard, aluminum, and plastic all together. The good news about this package is that it doesn't need to be refrigerated when it's being transferred to the store and on the store shelf, so that lowers its greenhouse gas footprint. However, the package itself isn't recyclable. Um, there are very few communities in the United States where this can be recycled, so we've got to get the manufacturers of this aseptic packaging to set up recycling programs for it. All right. Uh, our number one message for consumers is look for reduced packaging. And in the cereal aisle, you have this option of bulk packaging for your cereal. Um, this just has the plastic bag. Now, it's not recyclable, but you don't have the bulky packaging, uh, excess packaging. Okay. With the rest of your cereals, your traditional cereal box comes in a paperboard box. The box itself is recyclable, but inside is that plastic bag. So, getting the plastic bag anyway. Exactly. All so, right. we're suggesting. Um, Let's reduce the packaging where we can and just go with the plastic bag. Okay. Uh, lots of times you've got a clear choice between a recyclable package and a non-recyclable package. These cookies here are packaged in a non-recyclable plastic. Um, these packages down here, fully recyclable paperboard package. So, so if I were to take these and hold them side by side, it's basically the same product just a question of whether the package goes in the landfill or the package goes in my recycling exactly. bin. Okay. Now if you really want to step it up a level, let's go over to the bulk section and you can see where you can actually eliminate packaging completely by reusing your packages. Okay, let's go. Um, so here we are in the bulk section and here you have an opportunity of really eliminating packaging altogether. Here we have our cookies again and why don't you fill that one up. Uh, so here I don't have the uh, Tetra Pak even, or the... Exactly. Instead of having to worry about uh, the packaging that the manufacturer decides, you can bring your own reusable packaging or your own recyclable packaging. Um, and frankly, uh, you're going to pay less money here in the bulk bins. Um, you're going to get exactly the amount you want. One for so each of us. Won't be as much waste. Thank you. Um, and when you bring your own container, uh, that is a reusable container, you've eliminated all that packaging waste. Don't have to worry about, can I recycle it? Don't have to worry about uh, if I'm going to have to landfill it. You've brought your own. And frankly, I like the look of uh, having the bulk uh, grains and, and cookies uh, sitting on my shelf in my own jars. So it looks like we've got some pretty simple rules here. Number one, choose a place that already encourages the right kind of ingredients and the right kind of packaging. Number two, make your choices consciously. So don't just consider what's inside of the package, but also how it's packaged. And then three, maybe consider a few things that are plain brown paper bag and uh, even get a little bit of a savings on your groceries exactly. at the same time. Yeah. It's really, again, there's lots of choices out there. It's not that difficult. Uh, there's a great way to both feed your family well and reduce packaging waste. Small changes. Thanks so much.